Hello everybody, my name is Marco Valdez and thank you so much for clicking on this video because I'm going to be teaching you one simple trick to enhance your images, whether it's portraits, products, food, to bring it to that next level. So uh, maybe let's get some B-roll and then we'll jump into the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna do in Adobe Lightroom is I'm gonna go ahead and apply one of my presets just so that way it speeds up my workflow. And as you can see, my preset has already given the image a completely different look. But of course, with any preset, you do have to make some minor adjustments here and there to get the image exactly the way you want it to be. No preset is going to make your image perfect on the very first try. So always remember when applying presets, Make some minor adjustments, guys. So with my image here, uh, I definitely love what my preset has done, but I do think that it is a little too bright on some ends of the image, and this is where the graduated filter is really going to help us out a ton. But first, I'm gonna edit the image as a whole just with a little bit of minor uh, adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower my highlights some more. Uh, probably gonna go ahead and bring the shadows a little bit more down. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the exposure just a tad as well. I kind of like what this is already doing with the image. So now let's apply that graduated filter. So what you wanna do is come over here to the top right hand side. You wanna go ahead and click on this giant rectangle square thing. So once you go ahead and do that, you basically just click, hold and drag. And once you do that, you'll see all this start to come up and you can see that it's starting to darken a certain part of the image. None, the other parts of the image are not going to be affected by by this whatsoever. So this is really, really handy. So it automatically went ahead and applied already some of the edits that I, I had on here. So now you can go ahead and just mess with a little bit more. I do like to bring down uh, the blacks and the exposure as well. And make sure that part of the image just that extra little bit of dark to where it kind of leads your eye up and towards your subject. So that's a really neat feature that I really like to use a ton. And not only that, but I also like to include it at the very top of my image. Sometimes, sometimes not. But let's see if that helps us out a little bit. It's going to retain some of those settings. It's kind of bringing out those blues in the sky just a bit, but I don't want to go a little too far. Now with this one though, I really don't like the, the look of that blue, so I'm not going to be as harsh on my edits. So I'm going to bring up the shadows. I'm also going to go ahead and bring up the exposure on that end. Maybe the highlights as well. There we go. I kind of want it to be more of a, a even and consistent look. So I'm not really making the top portion darker like I did with the bottom, but still having that bottom graduated filter is still bringing that attention to your subject. But just know that you don't always have to do it at the top and the bottom. So the graduated filter, incredible tool to use alongside with a radial filter. I use it all the time whenever I'm editing photos, whether if it's for clients, uh, portraits, whether if it's for food, whether if it's for product photography, I use it consistently all the time. So here is with the edits, but without the graduated filter. And here is the image with the graduated filter. All right, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you got something from it. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be using this tip. Anyways, that's gonna pretty much cover everything that I have to go over today. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Marco A. Valdez, uh, TikTok at Marco.A.Valdez, and I will be seeing you in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Also, don't forget to wear gloves and don't forget to wear a mask when you go out. You gotta stay safe, guys. Have a good one.